morning. How are you? Good thing. Um, a wee while ago, I rang and I don't even know the name of Bob Hall. Yep. Um, we've had a valuation that's like over 10 years old for a okay. ring, and we're wanting it basically okay. just updated. Have a seat in the office on the right there. I'll be right with you. Thank you. Do you want it so that it's um, no, our two to three-day service? Yep, whatever yep. your turnaround time is, is yep. fine. That will take it into um, probably Monday or Saturday we're open. Whatever I'd probably be able to come and pick it up next Wednesday evening, okay. so it's right. again no, no okay. big issue. Now, is that the name that it's under? No, we, that's the name of the person that we bought it from. Okay. Um, right. So it would be under my wife's name, which is Lee. And she hasn't been to us before? Not that I'm aware of. No. Sorry, Ali. Okay, so the address, please. One, two. Thank you. And that's why is that? Um, all confident. Yeah. yeah, over in my Thank you. And a contact number. Yes. Do you know mobile at all? Uh, yeah, probably my wife's O two. Email address it would be Amon. She's looking at selling it on trade me. I think she just wants an updated oh, valuation. Oh, I see. Oh, so selling is a different thing. Okay. So, so what how, how, what's what the difference? It, yeah. This is the valuation for insurance that it's had. Okay? Sure. Um, it's, it's okay for us to do, we can do both, and to have both is $15 extra. Okay. Um, that's the cheapest option. Otherwise... She'd be wanting just to have this, which is a value of a pre-owned item for sale. Okay. Um, and what are the differences and, in valuation and costs generally? Is it they're both ninety-five dollars, but if you have them both together, it's ninety-five plus fifteen dollars. It's not sixty-five for the pre-existing valuation. Oh, sixty-five valuation. for that one, yeah, but for the thirty so percent discount. 60, 65 plus um fifteen. Plus the 15. Oh, actually, yeah, fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. So it'd be eighty. So, um, so depending on whether she wants to keep it or not, you've got the... I know she, the, the, the whole idea of getting the valuation is because she's looking sell. at selling it. Yeah. I know she's not looking at holding on to it. Okay. Um, All right. Well, let's do the sale. I'm just mm. going to double check whether we can do that with it already in someone else's name. Oh, okay. So let me just check on that, okay? Sure. I mean, it, 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 worst case scenario, I can always just ring you guys and let you know whether or not she wants both yeah. or whatnot okay. anyway, I suppose. So um, on top of that, what it does is it gives you that for 65 but it also gives you a separate set piece of paper which will give an indication of what you can expect to ask for it. Sure, okay. okay so that gives it, so that would be the document you'd put on Trade Me to sell it as. Okay. Yes. Cool. 
and then it would be up to the new owner to get a new valuation exactly. under the arrangement. Yeah. So. Um, six L. Yeah. Uh, So, um, Mike Lettingham, you know him? Cash Converters? Pardon? Do you know a guy named Mike Lettingham from Cash Converters? Or Camille? Is she a jewelry lady? Or no, no, personally I don't. No. I know they send a lot of stuff to Gem Labs. Yeah. Like, to get um, we, get, we get the Cash Converters guy in, but I can't... Whoever I see, I don't, it's not him. It's not He's Mike. probably the owner, owner of it, isn't he? Uh, no, he's actually stopped working for me now, oh. six months ago, but he was the, um, the area... Oh, yeah. Manager for all of um, Auckland and went around setting up all the shops for about 19 years. So. Good business. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Very good business. If, if you're a, if you're one of the franchise holders, yeah, yeah. really good business. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I did a lot of the buying and selling for them over in the Pam York branch for a year and a half odd, oh, yeah. and bought a lot of the jewellery, and we had like set figures to go by, and the, yeah. some of the prices were amazing. I, I remember one day I, I bought a forty thousand dollar diamond ring for I think it was the, the guy wanted to buy himself a forty ounce of liquor. I had to ring up and check with his mother first. He says, "Give me what you want for it." The boss is saying, "Make him an offer. Give him fifty bucks." Gave him fifty bucks. He says, "Yeah, I want that because he just wanted to go and buy some alcohol." And I'm sort of feeling somewhat stink because I want to yeah. give him a good price, but the yeah. boss is breathing down my neck. Yeah. So I get this forty thousand dollar ring for. Fifty bucks. I even had to ring up his mother, and the mother and, and the boy had just had a huge row. Apparently, some inheritance yeah. ring. Yeah. And she said, oh, "I don't care what he does with it. It's his. Fine. That's all I needed to know. Didn't want to get involved, you know." You just about need to get that in writing, though, wouldn't you? Now, that, because it's kind of like that. All brokers have got those different second-hand dealers act sort of rules. Yeah. Same with computers. They could buy a computer one day and then sell it straight out the door the next because yeah. PCs weren't involved in second-hand dealing act back when the, the yeah. act was written. Yeah. So they will never. Um, uh, yeah, so. Because it's kind of like um, I watched on TV on the news last night about the um, two Indian guys that burnt that, uh, that burnt that young Indian boy. Oh yes, yes. And um, you know, and they told him to take his money all out the bank. Hmm. And, um, and so they he did. Him. Yeah, exactly. That's Evil little buggers. Yeah. Okay. So, if it, so what okay. happened to it then? No, it got, it got, it just just got locked up in the safe. Uh, they, they tried selling it. Um, uh, that or, who knows, he probably kept it for his wife. Yeah. It was a, oh, it's like, this is on behalf of, so it's... Yeah. Like, but, um, yeah, so, that, that's all it was, and... Um, so there's a date to come in and just bring this in when you come and pick it up. Cool. Um, value to sell. There was another one that said there was an Omega watch. Oh, yeah. One of those really, well, you know, hand initialed on every moving mechanical part, and apparently is one of eight in existence. And we bought this watch for, it was like $100 we bought it from. We sold it to a customer for about $200. He bought it, and within that one-month period, it stopped working. So we took it to the jewellers to get repaired, or at least quoted to repair, or get them into something else, you know, mm. too much to be repaired, get them into something else. Mm. And that's when the jeweller came back to us and says, do you realise what you've got? Mm. We went, no, it's one of eight of existence. It valued about $200,000. We but just said, mate, couldn't fix it, sorry. And he got him into a 21-inch TV at the time and he walked out happy years and the boss is sitting with a $200,000 watch. So he turned around... Oh, he got it repaired. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. So the, but, you know, sneaky. And, but at the end of the day, how did they acquire these things too? Because, I mean, I'm dealing with Google all I, I the caught, time. And things like in the that. year and a half, I mean, I even chased them down the road a couple of times, but I yeah. caught 34 people in the year and a half that I was there with stolen bikes, stolen VCRs, yeah. you know, because I always did serial checks with things of value yeah. and just stalled them. Occasionally yeah. we even shut the doors and left them in there yeah. until <laughs> the cops arrived. Yeah. But, you know, we don't catch them. It's you just can write a book. Oh, <laughs> if I could tell you some stories. <laughs> I've, I've been shot, I've been stabbed, I've been dead twice from a brain aneurysm. I've had an interesting life. There you go. <laughs> and I'm like, only 40. There you 40 go, write like a book. Yeah. Memoirs. Memoirs. Memoirs of a cash converter salesman. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. See you next week.
Sorry to take your bike, Harry. That's all right. How are you? Thank you. That's brilliant. Have a seat on the... Uh, yeah. Trust Getting that way, eh? Yeah. I don't like the winter more. I don't like the heat. I like the autumn. Autumn's nice. Right. right. There's your item. Thank you. Thank you. So just to let you know in here is a copy of the valuation. Mm -hmm. That's without a photograph. That's the one for the insurance company. Sure. So they get that. Just to let you know that the, so I oh, see so, oh, so it was so a pre-owned item for sale, yeah, right. isn't it? so yeah. that's not. One was yeah. for insurance and one was for selling, for selling purposes, valuation for... Uh, okay, alright, so the retail market value of... Okay. For that, and a new comparison value of 300. Okay. Selling wise, you'd, probably, you'd have to look at about a third of that though. So we'd probably be looking at... Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Alright. That's all fantastic. Yeah, we always used to, um, at Cash Keys, we always used to try and pay no more than five dollars a gram of five carat gold or four pint of diamond. And I don't know what it is, to tell you the truth. That no. was a long time ago, mind you, prices yeah. change. But yeah. Um, yeah, I know they, they used to have quite a quite a lovely markup on from the scrap price the actual things exactly. to actually making it, but then there's a yeah. lot of work in making it, you know. Yeah. yeah. If you could just sign both of those sure. just to say that you've collected it, that's brilliant. Cool. Yep, that's fine. Thank you. That's not trouble. Right. Okay, so I'll just take you to the counter and we'll do that. Yep. Have a busy afternoon. Yes, yeah, shopping. Oh, good. Um, do shopping for three households this afternoon and oh, go home yeah. and pack it all and then cook. And <laughs> I don't get to do oh, I'm pretty much the domesticated male who will uh, look after oh, everybody at home. Oh, good. Um, 65, thank you. Oh, it, was, it wasn't 80? I thought it was 15 uh, for the other valuation. No, they've done it at 65. For, okay. um, it's just an update. We've done an update value to sell. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Even better for me, sure. Uh, <laughs> it's no issue. Close it up, Yeah. They've only done the value to sell one on it, although it's got the full retail. Let me just yeah. check what the value is. Because I thought there, yeah, there was supposed to be one for the yeah. insurance thing. Um, Mm -hmm. They've done it so that you can have the insurance one as well, with regard, but it will take a couple of minutes. Okay. But that's the new comparison. Yeah, because I know that she's only looking at selling it, which is yeah. probably why we didn't bother doing the other okay. one. So, yeah, that, all right. That's all good. No, that's fine. Right. 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 Thank you. 
Awesome. Thanks very much. And you. Bye. Bye bye.